Welcome, my name is Jacques Gagné. I work for Complete Coach Works, which is the manufacturer of this coach I have behind me. Today we'll do a technical and safety introduction on our product. Complete Coach Works has been in business for three decades and our main focus presently is to refurbish electric coaches. We actually take a refurbished coach and the, we transform the propulsion system to electrics. I will address uh, some of the uh, special characteristics of the coach and demonstrate its operation. I am sitting at the driver control of the ZEP bus and I will go over some of the features that are on this coach. The coach is basically a lot like a regular coach except that we don't have a diesel engine to start so we basically turn on the power with these knobs here and then the coach is actually activated. While that happens, we energize the air compressor that builds the air pressure to the 120 pound that is required to operate the coach app. The driver has a tilt and telescopic steering for his adjustment and we also feature an e-link feature and a handicap access ramp that is deployed when the coach is parked. The parking brake is located on my left side next to the entrance door control. Overhead I have the telltale display for the uh, several features of the coach. After you release the parking brake, then you press the D button, which is for drive, and then that's all you have to do. The coach is moving forward after that. The driver has access to the air conditioning control, which is above my head here. And all the driver has to do is press the on button, and that will activate the HVAC system that will regulate the temperature at around 70 degrees. In addition to the HVAC control, we have heater that are on the floor in the cabin and heater for the driver that are activated with those controls here. Presently, the coach is running and as you can see, the best feature of it is the silence. Since the coach is quiet, it, it had came to our attention that we should probably produce some type of noise during a right hand and left hand turn. So while the flasher are activated, we have a, a sound saying warning the coach is turning left and warning the coach is turning right. This in turn uh, warn the passenger or the uh, pedestrian that the coach is coming. It is a lit the latest safety feature we have on our coach. This will conclude the driver area. We will, we will now move to the cabin where I will demonstrate the emergency exit window and the emergency has escape hatch. The cabin is equipped with emergency window that can be used in case of emergency by the passenger. They're very easy to operate. We basically pull the red lever and push on the glass and the window open giving a, an easy exit from the cabin. We also have an emergency release for the door that is located at the rear exit door that we will basically use a little red hammer to break the glass and access the lever that releases the door mechanism. And there is also emergency escape hatch located at the rear and the front of the coach. Now let's go outside and, and look at the propulsion system at the rear of the coach. We, we are now at the rear of the vehicle and as you're going to be able to see it's very very different than a diesel coach. Since we don't use a diesel engine or transmission in a cooling system, we have several different components that constitute the propulsion system of the ZEP coach. The first thing I want to mention is we have a low voltage cutout switch. This switch will disconnect the lights and the low voltage system. There is an access door so you don't have to open the service door that is the coach is equipped with. At the rear of the coach, the engine compartment is actually very clean because there is no need for motor or oil or anything like that. This coach contains 12 batteries that are composed of lithium ion smaller batteries that are connected together and controlled by an electronic management system. Those components are located in those gray contactor box that you see. On a high voltage system, when you see an orange wire, those represent high voltage and are dangerous to touch. Unless you are properly trained, I will recommend not to touch those wires. If an event occurs where you see a wire that is disconnected, you need to contact somebody. Do not attempt to connect the wire yourself. It will be very, very dangerous for you. For the first responder, the same thing happens. If there is an uh, event where the coach goes thermal, we are going to activate a fire suppression system that will eliminate probably flame for, for a few moments. But you need to understand that as long as the battery has energy, 
this energy will dissipate itself in any way, shape or form. So you will need to come up with copious amount of water to cool down the system. The back of the coach is composed of the charging station, which is where we connect the 480 AC current connectors. This switch here will turn off the high voltage to the accessories that uh, the coach uses. For example, the batteries uh, uh, equalizer and then the uh, air conditioners, air compressor and power steering pump. The air compressor is located here and this activate when the parking brake when the ignition switch is turned down and then uh, shut off by itself at 120 pounds of pressure. The coach is equipped with service light, which are activated by a switch on the side here. This is for the, your convenience so you can have some uh, uh, visibility inside the engine compartment. This big component here is the traction motor. That's what turns the wheels of the coach. From the axle forward, this is a regular coach. From the axle, rear axle backward, that's where we have a drive line and the electric motor. There is no transmission, there is no uh, cooling system of any kind for the, the um, diesel engine. We replace this with this electric motor. This coach contains basically two gallons of uh, power steering fluid, two gallons of antifreeze that will cool the electronics, and the windshield washer. Those are the only fluid on the coach. The batteries are lithium ion and do not contain any fluid. The battery are located below at the rear compartment here and on the couch. This is what the battery looks like. It is en encased in a very, very robust aluminum box that protects them from the element. There is also a strong structure around it that will protect the box in case of accident or anything like that. As you can see, there is a lot of orange wire that run all over the place. Those wires are always high voltage and should, shouldn't be tempered with. If you see something happening to the wire and or there is an event on the coach, remember to evacuate the cabin, save people's life. Don't try to be a hero and save the coach. We can always replace the coach, but we cannot replace human life. So again, what's important is to make sure that your passengers are evacuated at a safe distance. You call the authorities at 911 and then they will come and try to save or salvage the situation but the human life is what's, what's at risk here. So we have those batteries at the rear of the coach. We have a motor controller, and this is another distribution box for the high voltage. Again, everything in here is high voltage. Do not tamper with it. At the front of the coach, there is one more component, which is the drain for the air tanks. I will show you this uh, location in a second. The last feature I wanted to mention on the coach is the at their air tank drain valve, which are located in the front under the driver. Each valve is connected to one of the air tank and we use that feature to eject the moisture from the air system. This will conclude the tour of the ZEP bus, which stands by the way for zero emission propulsion system. If you need uh, more information or need to contact our company, please feel free to visit our website at ccwrcompletecoachwork.com.